A lot of you have been asking about my loose leash walking method with small dogs and young, do young dogs. I've got both right here. This is Pickles. Pickles is four months old. She's here for loose leash walking, jumping, basic stuff, potty training. She's here for everything. So I'm gonna do my first session with her and you guys are just gonna watch it. Whatever happens, happens. I'll talk you through every little thing, why I'm doing it. And then you can do the same thing with your uh, four month old dog or your little dog or whatever. All right, first thing is, I'm not a fan of normal collars on these young little dogs, right? It can hurt their neck. So they, they walk the dog on a harness and I'm fine with that. I usually hate harnesses. Harnesses are pulling devices, but on a small dog, I get it. One, we don't need to be that hardcore with a four month old dog. If the dog pulls, one, they're not gonna pull your arm out of the socket. Two, we can fix pulling later. You gotta be just mellow with these young dogs. I'm gonna put this on. She might fight it. We're gonna see how it goes. I've also got a small leash. You don't want a big leash with a big old metal thing right here that's gonna hit him in the back hard. You want a little leash like this. Again, I'm not a huge fan of little leashes. I like to be able to hold on to the leash, but it's a tiny dog. It's a young dog. The dog's gonna go through different learning. We don't have to fix the dog perfectly at this age, right? We want the dog to be confident and happy at this age. Get to the real stuff later. But Pickles need some basic stuff. All right, so putting this on. I'm not even that familiar with these things. Okay, leg through, beautiful. Pickles is perfect for it. I know Pickles, I know you're a good girl. All right, here we go. Let's start with loose leash walking, okay? All right, so put the leash on. I have treats, okay? Treats are good for, oh, look, she doesn't like it, that's okay. Uh-uh, I'm just gonna give a look. So, Pickles is here for jumping. Is this a horrible jump? No, but it's the beginnings of a jump. So I just said, uh-uh, pushed her off. If you really wanna fix your jumping with your small dog or your young dog, don't allow them to do that unless they're there. There's a sit and I'm gonna reinforce with petting. I could give a treat, but I wanna give treats for other things. And I know she wants treats right now, or petting right now, so I'm gonna give that as the reinforcement. Don't be so heavy on the treats when the reinforcement is built in, right? You know Pickles wants treats or wants petted. When she's doing a down, I'm not gonna pet her. I'm gonna reinforce her with treats for that. All right, so now, as you know my method, leash walking, loose leash walking starts the minute you put the leash on. Oh look, she's biting the leash. She doesn't like it. I could do a couple things. I could reinforce every time she's not doing it. That's straight out of the positive reinforcement playbook. And it's good. Positive reinforcement's great for little puppies. It is not great for your dog tearing up the house, aggressing on other dogs, uh, jumping on everybody obnoxiously. Positive reinforcement won't work. It's good for puppies, okay? Get to the door. All I'm working on is walking well on the leash, okay? And the dog leaves, and I just give a little correction, come back and lure. I should get down farther because she had to jump for that treat. Then we're gonna walk. She's just gonna leave me, just gonna give a little thing and reinforce. So this is like my method, but it's not a correction and I'm using more treats. Come on. Oh, you guys see that? Maybe based on those two little stops, I stopped and Pickles was fully like, where's this guy at? We're walking, Pickles. How about I work on name game, what I call name game which is I say the name, Pickles looks at me and gets reinforced. By the way, I haven't even given a whole treat. I've just given nibbles of a treat. Look how small this dog is. I don't wanna give this dog a lot of treat. Oh, there's a sit, we're just gonna reinforce. Look at this, I have a, I've given nothing. Okay, but it's still reinforcing. Pickles, uh, name game, why do I do the click? Oh, I keep not bending over enough. Why do I do the click? I teach name game where I say the name, the dog doesn't look, I then make a click. They generally, 80% of the time they look, then I reinforce, then I fade out the click. I don't mean a clicker, I mean a clicky noise. Or if some people do a kissy noise better, do a unique noise, that's all that matters. Okay, let's go. So what am I working on right now? I'm working on reinforcing the dog next to me and not pulling, and I will also stop and be a tree when the dog pulls. Now, I reinforced after I stopped twice in there, I don't really feel like reinforcing after I stop that much longer, right? Dog went to the end, keep the dog on the left, or come on, leave it. I can work on a leave it, leave it. Pickles, 
Good. I said, leave it. The dog was not allowed to leave it. And then I, leave it. Pickles. Good. And reinforce. So I'm just reinforcing any time the dog looks at me, any time the dog walks next to me, any time the dog looks at me for her name. But I'm also not letting her just go, I feel like, I feel like smelling this thing on the ground. But there's no pun, there's really no punishment. It's a puppy. Let's work on sit. You guys want to see sit? I haven't done a single session with this dog. I don't know if this dog knows anything. Sit. Uh-uh. Why did I move my leg like that, guys? Every time the dog jumps on you and they touch you, they get reinforced. Every time. So if you can move your leg and they don't touch you, they're not being reinforced for their jump. Come on, pickles. So sit, did not do it. Sit. Uh-uh. Sit. What a little wiggly one. Pickles. Sit. Yeah. Oh, sit. Yes. That was the only true sit on a cue right there. Okay. Pickles. Sit. Oh, there we go. Can I mark it? If I had a clicker, I'd click. I can do a verbal bridge, which is yes. It's fine, you don't have to do it, but sit. Yes. Okay. Pickles, sit. I just want to do enough where you guys see it. That's not a sit. Pickles, sit. That's not a sit. She's not doing that because I'm asking it. Sit. Sit. Yes. There's, so what did we get? Three sits there? That's fine. And are we done with sits? Am I going to do any more? Heck no. It's a puppy. Too many sits. Leaving me and then reinforce. That's the first time I'm giving a full treat right there. So with your puppies, guys, don't be like, oh, I'm just going to work on sit. I'm going to work on down. What we worked on right here was getting the harness on, which she was fine with. Um, walking out that door, stopping, giving like letting her hit the end of the leash, then reinforcing her every time she looked at us, then walking around, working on a leave it. She wanted to smell the ground four times. I said, leave it. She said, no, she doesn't know what that means. We got to condition what that means, right? I said, leave it. She said, nah, I feel like smelling the ground. I don't even hear you. I gave her a little, we're not, and by the way, she's on this, doesn't hurt her. I could hang, I could just hold her up, hold her from the sky and this thing wouldn't hurt her. That's how these things work. That's why they're bad. But it's also good. I mean, you don't want to hurt the dog, but you don't want it to be super comfortable to pull, and that's what these things are. So then I said, leave it four times. She didn't leave it, but then she eventually left it. I treated her, but she also didn't ignore me. I was like, bink, we're going, we're going. Then we worked on sits. You saw my criteria for sit. She sees a dog down there. You saw my criteria for sit. I lured with the treat. She did this weird wrap around. Maybe the owners trained it in front, or maybe that's just what she does. But there were three sits, I believe, that were kind of next to me and seemed to be on cue, right? So I reinforced them. I got three reinforcements for sitting. And you saw when she didn't sit, I'd say sit, and she'd do this weird thing here. I didn't say no. I just like, okay, let's move again, get where we can actually maybe get the behavior, reset her brain, and then ask it again. She wrapped around. I said, oh, we're going on. Then I asked it again. Now, why am I not saying like no or uh-uh? because she doesn't know the behavior. You can't punish a behavior the dog doesn't know, okay? That sits, that's our session. Every session with your puppy, everything you do with them is a session. Handling them, putting that leash on. When they pull, just giving them a little stop, giving them treats, doing a couple sits. Maybe she, she probably wasn't ready for sit out here. There's a neighbor dog running around. It should have been done in the house, but you can do it on a walk, see how it goes. It didn't go great here, but what did I get? Three reinforcements for sitting? That's fine, that's good. That's your puppy session. That's your small dog loose leash walking session. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel.